Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. All right. Only way forward. Huh. Well, that's weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. 
Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. Squad doing with those video cards, number 83. Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch to that, and Amy's gonna tell him. We got contact! Voice is here! Move in! Looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Conan harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Heading. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find... We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. I was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. I did what you said, okay? Please, please just let me go. You did good, Amy. Broadcast just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. 
Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You, from the protest, what do you- I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. I knew Marduk had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Yeah, I'll check. Monarch's twisting the story for the media. The protest went hostile and that we detonated the library. They're blaming you, Jack. I'm Paul Scapegoat. This isn't good. Once that newscast goes live, the... Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That can be fixed. of the gate somehow. Jack, you need to get to this side somehow. I'm not going anywhere until you're on this side of the gate. Just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, that's something new to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to? We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here.
So Paul founded Monarch. Is that another one of those rewind things? Starting to get the hang of this. All right, that's that. Made it. Now to get to that door. terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they the forced me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. That Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for the police. Now you? This is HQ House person. I told you to stay off the operations channel. Sure, Clarice, listen. Pat's told me to search for Joyce. I got footage of her taken out of Garden A1. Back of Monarch truck was left open. Now I'm checking cameras in A3. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah. You too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Hostile! Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up.
Contact! Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother... Thanks for the heads up. That was close. You still okay out there? Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Hey Jack, the Husky lady on Monarch Radio seems to be unable to reach Gatehouse Squad. Remember the geared up soldiers I mentioned who do the teleporty stuff you do? Yeah. Apparently they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. Regarding some kind of chronon particle harvesting operation. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm looking into it. Keep you posted. Joyce just took out Gatehouse One.
Hey, just turned off security. Uh oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure. But it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation. Everything's linked to the CF.
Gotta find a way out of here. No clear exit down here. May have to head upward. There's gotta be something I can use to get up there. Cronon scientist. Oh, she must know a lot of the same stuff, will it? elevator. Okay, getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Okay. It's like the trailer has power now. I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Till then, hands off. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Amy, you okay out there? Shit. <sighs> it's 
locked. There's got to be another way to get through here. Jesus! Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Can't take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks and Serene. <laughs> 